The different types of plastic in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch are causing major issues for aquatic wildlife. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is an area in the Pacific Ocean where tonnes of plastic rubbish are being directed. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is located in the Northern Pacific Ocean and contains over 269,000 tonnes of plastic, covering an area twice the size of Texas. Did you know that the ocean holds one kilogram of plastic for every three kilograms of fish? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is split into two sections, the Eastern Garbage Patch, located between Hawaii and California, and the Western Garbage Patch, located near Japan. The most simple plastics are comprised of carbon and hydrogen, with more complex plastics consisting of chloride, oxygen and fluorine. Plastic has become extremely popular due to its low cost, durability and malleability. People can drink from it, eat from it, wear it and use it in every part of daily life. All forms of plastics can be found in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Some items found include bottles, plastic bags, lighters, containers, toys, shoes, fishing line and clothing. 1 million plastic bags and 29 million plastic bottles are used every minute. That's over 500 billion plastic bags being used each year. Large items include televisions, computer monitors, tyres and fishing nets. 123 tonnes of plastic fishing nets were removed from the ocean within a period of only four months. Over time, plastics breaks down through a process called photodegradation. During this process, the larger pieces of plastic, known as macroplastics, are broken down by the sun to eventually form microplastics, which are the smaller pieces of plastic. Microplastics can be ingested by sea animals. However, this is only the beginning of this problem. Once digested by one, they move up the food chain, affecting more and more species. Macroplastics can also be ingested by animals. Seals often eat plastic bags as they are easily mistaken for jellyfish. Fishing nets are also a large problem in our oceans. They cause entanglement and are capable of destroying coral reefs. Seals and other mammals often drown in fishing nets, a phenomenon known as ghost fishing. Millions of animals die from entanglement each year. Coral reef systems are impacted by the nets as they snag, break the coral off and then keep rolling around destroying more and more coral. Coral reefs, along with their inhabitants, are a support system for all sea life. A decline in coral reefs will mean a decline in the population of all other sea animals. Consequently, our plastic addiction is causing severe problems in our oceans. When will the impacts reach humans at the top of the food chain? The problem will be ongoing if plastic production continues at such a high rate. In order to reduce plastic production, which will reduce harm to the environment and even humans, consumers and retailers must reduce their plastic consumption, including plastic bags, bottles, containers, cutlery, toys and clothing. Using natural products that break down over time, unlike plastic, will create a better future for the environment and for humans.